Today we have a completely different video. I'm going to make espresso while traveling. So right here I'm going to also be reviewing this battery pack which is from Flair. And this battery can plug directly into my Optino Legome Mini which I have right here and I'm going to go ahead and grind. This is an 18 gram dose from Brandywine and it's a little windy here so hopefully all of this shows up perfectly fine. And it does take a bit to grind. This isn't the fastest grind in the world, but it definitely does a lot better than using a hand grinder. Right now I'm just outside of Buena Vista, Colorado. And we have our grind done. And the nice thing about this battery is you can now flip it off and you can hook it up to your Flare 58, which is why, why this was initially made was for the Flare 58 so you could travel with it on the go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and simply unplug my Optino Legome Mini and we're gonna take the same battery and I like to flip it off before I'm going and we're gonna plug it into the Flare. Now we're gonna go ahead and flip that switch and then turn on the flare to the highest setting that we can and it's gonna go ahead and heat up that. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and prep my portafilter. Now I don't have a funnel or anything like this, but this is espresso on the go, so you kinda of get what you get. But the nice thing about this option is uh, when you're traveling, there's not always good coffee shops, so you kinda of have to make do with what you have. So I have the Flare 58 Plus here, and it's in the back of my rental car, which is a Toyota 4Runner. Nice little upgrade that I initially didn't expect. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock that in here. And what I'm doing to heat water is I have kind of like a jet boil, but it's a different brand. Um, and it's about a $100 kettle and it plugs into an outlet. So I actually have this plugged into an outlet. You can use a jet boil if you don't have electricity, if you really wanna do this completely on the go. And it looks like we are just about heated up here. And again, we're not going for complete perfection on this because this is traveling with espresso. So you kinda of get what you get. And just like I thought, I am spilling a little bit, but that is okay. There we go, filled to the top here. Mostly preheated, but at least it's gonna give us a little extra stability here. And this is the flare scale, scale, scale which is not my favorite scale to be honest. Um, it's a little inconsistent for my liking, but it is a good travel option for a scale. I'd actually probably prefer just to bring my um, Akaya. And next time it looks like I can grind a little finer, but nevertheless, we got a nice beautiful shot of espresso in the back of a car. Overall, I'm a big, big fan of the battery that I got here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and move the scale and I got a little towel here to kind of keep things clean shut that off but the nice thing about the battery is it can be charged with one cable and that cable can continue to charge it and you can switch on and off between using your flare and then between using your Lego mini or other similar grinders to get the job done so there we have it that is the battery it's a great little feature it's also nice just to in case you move your flare a lot there so we have a nice thick crema on my shot of espresso from Brandywine and while it's not the best coffee in the world because my grind setting was off it's by far better than what you can get in a lot of places so let's just go ahead and slide this off my tripod and this is where I'm at right now I am somewhere near Buena Vista And I have a nice shot of 
espresso in the back of my car. There we have the joys of the Toyota 4Runner.